What's going on YouTube? It's Vinny here and today I'm going to be showing you how to replace a Wi-Fi card on a Dell XPS 15 9570. So I'm going to be replacing this Wi-Fi chip with a Intel Wireless AC 9260. That's right here. Um, this will also come with Bluetooth 5 and from what I've also read online, it looks like this is your best choice. It's definitely compatible, so let's get into it. All right, so before we go ahead and replace the Wi-Fi card, um, I just want to run a quick speed test and see where we're at. See if we notice any differences. All right, so it looks like the end result is 4.86 download and 14.93 upload with 19 ms ping now let's get into replacing the wi-fi card everything that you guys see in this video will have a link in the description you're going to need a torx t5 this tool actually came in a kit in the kit um, it comes with all the kinds of different bits you'll need uh, when working on laptops and computers as well as picks and stuff and other things to take apart cell phones and other electronics Look in the description for a link for this toolkit, as well as this Wi-Fi card. Make sure the laptop's completely off. All right, so the first step's gonna be to remove the screws. Keep in mind when you're removing all of these screws that they're very soft. So if you have a cheap tool, that can actually strip these very easily. I'm gonna go ahead and remove all the screws. All right, so there should be 10 T5 screws around the edges, and then you're gonna lift this lid up and there should be two Phillips head screws right here. Once all of those are removed, you'll be able to open the back case of the laptop. The best way to get this lid off once all the screws are out is starting by these corners. This is where the screen hinge is, and you'd start on these corners and start to slowly separate the lid. It should come right up. And just make sure you guys have a little container to hold all your screws. It makes it a lot easier so you don't lose anything. Once you have the lid off, you take a look right down here. That's your Wi-Fi card. There's going to be one little Phillips head screw holding it in. And so I'm going to go ahead and remove that. You remove that first Phillips head screw. It's going to be this little bracket. Now you're going to have these two little antennas. You're going to have to get a flat head and pop those off. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. Boom. Wi-Fi card should pop up. You should be able to pull it right out. Grab your new one. Same thing, put it in on the angle that it was on when you took it out. So you're gonna push that in, and then you're gonna kinda push this down. Then you're gonna grab your two antenna wires. There's a black and a white. The black one goes on the left side, and the white one goes on the right side. Both antennas are installed into the Wi-Fi card, and the Wi-Fi card is installed into the laptop. Next, you're just going to continue holding down the Wi-Fi chip, get your bracket, and lay that over top of all of it. That will make sure that the antennas are secure and that the card is secure. Also, just take note, when you're screwing this bracket in, it can spin. So you're just going to hold it straight and then go ahead and tighten it. Once your new Wi-Fi card is installed, put the back lid back on and all of your screws. You're gonna have 10 T5s and two Phillips head screws here. All right, once everything's together, you can go ahead and turn the laptop on. Just to note, I turned the laptop on and all I had to do was retype in the password for my Wi-Fi that I'm connected to and it came right up. Everything looks like it's running good, so I'm gonna go ahead and run a speed test. All right, and the end results is 52.41 download speed and 66.57 upload with 14 ms for the ping. You guys can just really see from the numbers here that the uh, speed for the internet on this laptop will increase a lot by replacing the Wi-Fi cards. All right, so the old Wi-Fi chip is a Killer Wireless 1535, and I upgraded it with an Intel Wireless AC9260. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, it's a simple job. It should only take you about 10 or 15 minutes. Also, don't forget to check the links in the description for the upgrades and the tools needed for this. Thanks for watching.